lines as you know this is a peripherally inserted central catheter as you see that's the reason we say it's peripheral because it's inserted in the arm mainly kind of brachial vein and then the catheter uh, advance all the way through I think axillary vein then subclavian vein then superior vena cava just above the right atrium that's the right position and it's called peripheral because as I said we insert through peripherally through the arm compared to centrally inserted central catheter where you go directly through the IJ or through subclavian so those centrally inserted central catheter the pick line can work similar to long-term catheters like tunneled um, catheters or short term like IJ and subclavian which means for long term the pick lines can stay for weeks of course it's, it cannot stay as long as the tunneled catheter like Hickman catheter or port a cath or permacath but can go for a few weeks um, so it can and it can be used exactly like short-term catheter in a critically ill patient in ICU you can use pick line because you can infuse the same medications and pick but at the end it's a central line right usually placed by interventional radiology or specially trained person like in my hospital we have IR but also we have trained nurses uh, to do pick line compared to the centrally inserted usually uh, our residents uh, and our physician can do it the when to order it as I said if you need a central line like IG or subclavian pick line can be a solution and if you need long-term IV antibiotic the main two indications are endocarditis and osteomyelitis where you need four to six weeks for IV antibiotics but there is also other indication when you need two weeks of antibiotic IV antibiotic or four weeks like for example empyema or gram-positive bacteremia where you need IV antibiotics they can be used or outpatient TPN or patient who needs outpatient periodic outpatient IV fluids so you can discharge them with pick line and you have that secured access for a few weeks and sometimes months ahead as long as it's working once you put the pick line you confirm its position with the chest x-ray as you see the pick line is right here see this white line is coming this way all the way going through the subclavian and entering uh, sorry uh, this auxiliary then entering the subclavian and then ending just above the right atrium and the superior vena cava so this is a good position for the um pick line so this is in perfect position you want to make sure it's this way because you will see some lines going up uh, or ending here or going really deep here or going instead of going this way they go this way or they stop here these are considered malpositioned catheter need to be fixed we'll finish next video